round two between Rex and Angelus is going to take place on map 77, Linalia Plateau. Rex ended up taking round three and a drawn out but very intense battle. And Angelus is going to try to even it up here on a medium map. Hopefully get a little better luck with charms and various talk skills would help Angelus out. Why well, Rex obviously does not want that to happen. The ladies are going to charge forward. Looks like we got first blood coming out in the form of holies and oh, paralyzed, which does hit the priest. Cyclops on the two units. Not a ton of damage, but just stack nice four on top of that it is enough to drop that oracle. Thief attacks the scholar, misses, and death sentence has missed as well. 227 damage, and yeah, it's definitely not going the way Angelus would prefer it to go. Phoenix down on the oracle, who definitely needs to heal herself in order to turn this match around so she can cast a clear free onto that thief and get everybody relatively full strength. Demi 2 misses. Uh, very magical evasion heavy mediator there. And a quick Kiyomori inflicting poison and darkness, which should help if it gets that same line. 149 damage, bolt 4, and yep, darkness was the good counter there. Mediator is going to go for a few, uh, which is not enough to get rid of each uh, spell that is being cast. Thief is back up, so we're 4 on 4. Demi 2, and counter magic, which does heal her, thankfully. That could have been very bad. Yeah, she did not have dark absorption. And a quick tornado, which the thief looks like he's avoiding, and he is. And the mediator says screw you and has an auto potion as well. Holy on the mediator, can't dodge that. But only 128 damage and 80 damage of it gets auto potioned away. And blind is wrecking havoc on that samurai's ability to fight. So nice turnaround so far, Angel's team, and a quick sleep out of the air knife. Very effective, and he killed his own samurai. Not the way that Rex wanted this to end up going. Very, very well done so far by Angelus. Shell 2, to keep everyone up against all the holies and summon magic that's flying around. And the sleeping bonus has knocked out the scholar, so it's now a 4 on 3 in Angelus' favor. Everybody is back up and running. Carbuncle. Pull that MP back up. So they can, yeah, race that Scholar before it becomes an even bigger issue. High Aether to keep the Oracle up at full strength. And a race 2 brings it back to 4 on 4. A uh, single target don't act onto the Samurai. And a Blackmail, ooh, which does connect finally for Angelus' team. Paralyzed, so now we have two don't acted units. And a quick hold to heal the samurai back up to full strength. Not the best use of MP, but it does do quite a large heal. Coming for 100 damage to bypass the shell. And all the don't acted units are going to try to run away. Blackmail, so they got three don't acted units. And I think they. Oracle's going to go for a clean sweep. She is. Oh, but it did miss. Unfortunately, we did not have four Dawn Acted units. The Samurai, the, not Samurai, Summoner is going to go down very soon to Poison if she doesn't catch a heal. Uh, or a Holy. 176 damage heal. Damage heal. 176 heal. Death Sentence onto the Scholar, who at least can act now, but only has a couple more turns to do anything before she drops. And she's going to go for 229 damage holy. And uh, auto shell is kicking in nicely. Blackmail has been inflicted once more, so it will not even go off. Thief is going to go for a charm attempt. And it does not quite work this time. While we get, looks like a more paralyzed action coming out of this one. 123 damage. And... Paralyzed, do we have three again? We do. We have three paralyzed units, one poison and one death sentence. 
211 damage, Demi 2 does drop her, so it's a 4 on 3, temporarily. And another death sentence on to the Samurai this time. Summoner is back into critical and needing to catch yet another heal. Phoenix down, we'll prop the Oracle back up and let her retreat and heal. While the... Whoops, Summer did not catch a heal in time. So we're back to four on three with two death sentence units. So it's looking like Angelus should be able to pull this one out. As now everybody has been death sentenced and there isn't a whole lot they can do about it. Priest is going to go for a fairy. To at least prop her back up while everybody is far enough away that they won't be able to do anything about it. Quick protect, that's not going to make it any difference at all in this match. But Fairy will make a difference. Blackmail, she's up, but she can't act. So it is not going in Rex's favor at all for round two. Raise two, we're back at full strength. Although we still have death sentences and don't axe flying everywhere. Mediator with her tons of move <laughs> is able to don't act the Scholar. Priest is going to go for a cure, I believe. 68 damage poke. And 241 damage smack. Holy. It does cancel that heal. Haste and regen. We're just waiting on them to get in range to actually take out this last unit. 68 damage smacks are not exactly what they were looking for. Death sentence on the other hand missed, so it doesn't matter. Nope. Air knife smack got blocked. That should have been enough to kill her. So she'll get at least one more turn to revive her teammates. 68 damage puts her in critical. Mediator's gonna refute, which does work. Canceling the charge. Thief will polish them off. So round two goes to Angelus. We'll see what the tiebreaker holds. Tiebreaker between Rex and Angelus will take place on map 14, Office of Lionel Castle. Round 1 went to Rex and a Magical Fury, and status is kicked in for Angelus on round 2, so let's see which one works on the small map for round 3. Thief is not arranged to do anything on the first time. Well, we get some buffing action going on Angelus' team to start us off. We get first blood as a holy. Followed up by Summon and another Holy. And it looks like we've got a triple panel Paralyze coming out of this Oracle, which will absolutely wreck havoc. Uh, and it does stop two of them. Ooh, counter magic. Very nice. So out of that, we have three Donax. Two on one team, two on the other, and then a Donax out of the... Yeah, Donax onto the Mediator. Oh. Don't act on the Oracle yet again, so that didn't really do any good. So we're at a four on four still. We've got three don't acted units for Rex's team. Angelus is in the lead, even though the Critical Thief is not really going to be able to do anything. Death sentence onto the Samurai. The Angelus' strategy is starting to work in the first, as compared to the first round. Thief is up and running yet again, trying to heal with move HP up. Oracle is back in the fray, now the Dawn Act is one off. Mediator's going to flick some more Dawn Act, we get some more Holies. Dawn Acted people running away, more Paralyzes, and more Holies. Transfusion, which might actually be enough to save that Thief's life. Paralyze has missed, so it will not save that Thief's life unless he can land this charm. And he does. So he's only going to eat one holy. 157, he's not even in critical, so... Angelus' team is up, up at full strength. Some blind and poison action going. While the knight continues being the high HP item bot. Charm has missed. Scholar is going to decide to wreck her own team due to the charm. It is looking like Angel Angelus should be able to take round three. Refute. No more charging for you. Cyclops does inflict blind onto the archer, or not archer, thief. And he's going to retaliate by inflicting some charms. So 
So we're still at a four on three. They're choosing not to revive the Skylock for some reason. Comet, auto push, and he's going to laugh at you for doing that. And we get more haste and lead in action going for Angelus. Paralyze, and hit two people. And it does. One, one of them, it didn't really matter. And it's like a five on one right now due to the charm. Steel accessory. Uh, I don't remember what it was, but it will not help not having one. Death sentence on to the priest, so we're down to a don't acted summoner for Rex, who needs a little help in order to get this out. And the 125 smack of the thief was not helpful. So everybody's going to run away from the dying person, who will at least have it one, maybe actually two turns to res people. Provided they both connect, of course. We got a quick ferry, which might res. Yeah, two people. So we are back to a. Could be back to full. Due to the downside of Death Sentence. Oh, 125 is going to take care of that. And it looks like we've got some more paralyzed action coming. And we do. One and two. So it's four on zero right now. While we wait for this samurai oh, to get armor broken and then die. Death sentence has occurred. Death sentence on the priest. So yeah, just waiting on everything to work out. I just got to make sure that the samurai does not have a chance to res anybody when don't act wears off. But she's still death sentenced. Like so. More haste and regen. And with one last turn, she's going to go res the Scholar. I don't know if it's going to be enough, though, because it paralyzes. And it is not. So everybody's just going to hang out and wait for her to die. Good game, Angelus. You definitely turned it around compared to round one.